What's up, guys? Muck Moss in. As y'all see, my opponents got Ryan Chase here, Julio Jones, and Michael Irvin play makeup. As for us, we also have the same top three. Lamar Jackson, Jalen Ramsey, and Bo Jackson. Um, Two things I want to talk about, though, quick, as we're in a brand new season right now, because if you guys didn't see the last video, leave it up top here, because it got ugly, and you see the kickoff, you already know what's going to happen, because it did not get any better. With night train lane, fumble, recovery for six, and we're already down seven nothing. I'm like, yeah, this ain't gonna be good. This ain't not gonna be good. Now, one, two things, and like I said, I'm gonna talk about the first thing. I know there's no new, uh, no new content, nothing like that. But EA today kind of messed up, and the reason why is because this. And it's gonna get to my next point though with this. First, yesterday we got ourselves a new power up extensions, which is. Kind of cool, kind of cool. I didn't talk about it last game because I was focusing in on that. That's why I like also doing uh, post cons because in case something like this happens, eh, I can throw it in there. It's not that big of a content. I don't have to make a whole video on it. Like say like right now, as we're watching the game right now with Bo Jackson, get himself a nice run right here. I can just throw it out and talk to you guys a little bit about it. But what happened though was we got some new power up extensions for cards that unless you're running their theme team, nobody's using. I'm being straight up honest. Let me know in the comments of AL using these players. You have. Six new power up extensions. These cards go up to 99 overall. That's right there. Ed Reed, don't throw by me. Good play with my opponent. But we got Dwight Stephenson, Edgar and James, John Elway, Charles Tillman, Keanu Neal, and Sean Lee. Now, unless if you are running any of these guys' as theme teams, let me know. Are any of y'all using these plays? Playing right now? I can answer that for you. Hell no, you're not. The only way these guys on your team is if there's the backup or if they are, you know, your team team. That's really all I got <laughs> when it comes to that. To me, can we get some cards? Maybe like Sean Taylor, he's a power up. Um, Bobby Wagner can use one too. I think Aaron Rodgers can use one. And there are way more players that can use some. So, yeah. Like, I know it was Sean Watson, I remember correctly. So, yeah. Can we get some of those in the game? That'd be great. Thank you. Anyways, another thing I want to talk about is that. Um, EA messed up on something. Now, I will admit one thing. It's just like the Zero Chill promo, except it's toned down. Now, what I mean by that is this. What the last coin making method you were able to have before they took this out, you were able to buy alternate uh, playlists for offense and defense. Now, you know the market is garbage. So, if the coin value is garbage, the training is literally the dirt in your front yard. It is ridiculously low and it is amazing time if you want training. But anyways, people are doing this method that, um, what is it? That's right there. First, you just saw Ronnie Lott with a nice pick. And look at this, man. He's streaking clean. He is clean right now. Randy Moss, 80 yards. TD, don't leave that man that much room, bro. He's going to burn you every time. But anyways, I'll get into him later because, whew, he pissed me off in the second half. And he's been recently. Anyways, got way off topic for a minute. Um, with the alternate playbooks, you can buy for 150 training. And I believe they can quick sell for 500 coins. That part, though, I can't be wrong about. But pretty much by doing this method, you can make about 100,000 coins every hour. Now, like every hour, every like hour and a half, two hours, something like that. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot. Like, oh, watch this video, bro. You can make 1.5 million coins in two minutes by doing this crazy method. Like, you got to do some fucking Einstein thing. It's like, no, it is not like that at all. It's very simple. You gotta say thirty-four thousand training. Use all the train by the alternate playbooks. You would sell them. You would quick sell them for set. Say you spend about thirty k, you make one hundred and thirty k. Um, with that, hey, you made seventy k. So on, so forth, like that. So what EA did was they pretty much took that out of the game. Now they take the playbooks out. No, you can still go buy them right now. I'm staring at it right now on my screen. But when you buy one of these packs, keep in mind though they're one hundred fifty training. They now quick sell for 125 training. Really? Really, EA? What are y'all doing? Only reason why, because of two simple reasons. One is June. Now, it is nothing really coming out. Yes, we do have two and a half months left till Madden 21. What's the one big promo that comes out? To me right now, with the way this game's going, there's two, maybe three promos. People keep saying it's positional heroes coming out, but first thing first, dude, why did I back my safety up like a smart person? I should have backed it up because D-Hall just torched my ass. Because honestly, that was the only time he scored on me on offense. But anyways, um, the only promos really that are left are positional heroes. Which, I, if they're going to come out, they have to come out this week. If not, latest next week. 
Summer Blockbuster, which would be the, in the same category in my opinion. But then the final month is rookie premieres. And the reason why some, pe some people don't even like rookie premieres, which to me, I don't see why. Because, hey, you just start the game off. Hey, guess what? Freaking, uh, um, let's say you decide to do, um, let's say Joe Burrow was a rookie premiere, right? Oh, you get yourself a start with Joe Burrow because you know he's going to start. Say another one. I don't know. I'm, tr I'm trying to think. Who could be some good ones? It's right there. Oh, Jackson following bro after a pick. What are we doing? But anyways, let's say another one is uh, C.D. Lamb, right? And C.D. Lamb has a monster game week one. And he becomes the 90 overall or 91 overall team of the week hero. Hello? In September, week one, and you got yourself a 91 receiver for free. So pretty much you're taking what you did in last year's game. You completely got the 99 version of them and investing it in the next game. That's genius. That's honestly genius for a Madden player, or especially if you're new. That's why my suggestion though to anyone who's new. And like they know they ain't getting the game till um till December. Dog, first thing you do, do your rookie premieres. I'm telling you, you're gonna be very happy when you get Madden 21 and just hold the players you do play good. But if you're still playing like me, or like every any other player, that's right there, Randy, you gotta make that catch. Dude, you do the rookie premieres, you guys are free players in the beginning of the year. Like, what was that? I think it was 2018, Saquon Barkley was the rookie master. That's a free 88 overall running back. I didn't change my running back until November. I rocked him the whole year that year. Like, you know what I mean? Another one was, um, what was it? Um, I'm trying to say Kyler Murray, though, but I can't be wrong on this. But whoever was this year, they were kicking upgrades almost every other week. Like, the two biggest ones by Team of the Year. Dude, I had the rookie, uh, Kyler, and I had the rookie of the year, Nick Bosa. Hello? That's two free cards that ever 97 overall that played well. Well, Kyle, though, for me, that was on and off. The only thing I hate about the call, you could get a skate ball. That's the point. Dude, Nick Bosa, though, played well for me. He kept getting sacks me almost every other play. The call was good to me. And I didn't have to spend a dime on it. But nah, that's the reason. That's really all that's left, though. So why would you take out a coin making method like that? It's not even that bad, dude. It's not like Christmas when people were making hundreds and thousands of training and hundreds of thousands of coins. Like, during Christmas. If y'all remember the Christmas thing, dude, the gingerbread men were ridiculous. Because it wasn't that hard to do. It really wasn't. It wasn't that hard to do if you knew how to do it. But, as you guys see that right here, y'all, 4th and 11, trying to throw it up here, yo. But, Randy, can you turn around? If you turn around, bro, you make the catch, and it's a freaking first down. Come on. But really, when it comes to those things, that's all I want to talk about, though, when it comes to, like, Madden right Wise, team wise, yo, Randy is on my last nerve, and I thought about getting maybe a golden ticket to replace him, but I don't know. I might be giving him one more game, to be honest. Sorry about that. I just, my mouth got dry from talking, so I need a drink. But nah, if he keeps playing the way he's playing, bro, I'll keep him so this way I can keep the Niners cam. But dog, I'll get somebody else to put over him. I, at this point, don't care. That's right there. I forced a pass. That one, I'm not going to blame him for. That was a forced pass. But right now, I'm about to teach you guys something, though. If you never, if you don't watch football or don't know this, or if you, yeah, pretty much that. If you watch football, but you don't really watch football and you don't know about this rule, you're going to see what it is in a minute. Because right now, I'm just doing the small thing, stopping my opponent, using my time to my advantage, so I have some time to try. Now, look, we're going to get a safety, unfortunately, so we give up two. Now, look at this. My opponent kicked the ball to me. It's in a punt. But here's the thing. It's a kickoff. So if you don't touch that ball or pick it up, that's my ball. But right here, I had the advantage. Bro, what am I doing? But that's going to honestly cost me right there because I couldn't get, it on, get in the end zone. But right now, I, I had to play better. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. One thing I'm going to show you guys quickly, though, two plays I was talking about a little bit closer of why Randy might go or I might keep him for one more game. I don't know yet. But if you guys did enjoy though this video, let me know by smashing that like and hitting the bell. But right now, I'm going to show you guys how I play those. I play completely horrible. Let's look at this, you know, Lamar Jackson, you know, 6 for 13, 163 uh, passing yards. But unfortunately, four picks. I got to clean that up, and I've needed to done that. But anyway, I'm going to show you guys right now, though, if I can find those. Like, two plays, though. One of them with Randy. Like, Prince Bolden were with Randy. And there were one pick by Justin Reed. The other one was with Ed Reed. I was trying to find it, though, here. What the heck was it? I was reading through them. 
trying to find it, and I think it's right around down here. Where is it? Where is it? It's David Johnson. Where is it? Where is it? No, that one ain't it. It's around here somewhere. Where the heck is it? Okay, here we go. Here's the first one. The Justin Reed pick. You see right now, the way he's lined up, we got has we got some good blocking here. We United actually got the other block as well. He ain't coming in really. It's right there. It's firm in the pocket. Very accurate pass. Now look at this. Right there. If you watch Randy Moss ball, you know he catches this. Look at this. It's a 50-50. I don't know if you can call it a 50-50 ball. But Randy was in front a little bit, in my opinion. But the animation, though, gave it to Justin Reed. But you see that right here, he has the ball. But Randy doesn't want to bring it down. You see what I mean? It's in his hands. He don't want to bring it down. So Justin Reed just takes it from him. And that's the interception. I need that catch. Because that can change the game right there. That's one play that, even if I don't get a touchdown, that can be three points. I'm going to go to the other one now if I can find it somewhere. But if I take a little bit too long on rambling, if you guys enjoyed the video, though, let me know by smashing the like button, hitting the sub, and turn on the bell so you guys know whenever I post a new video. If you guys got any questions for me, though, or if you just want to talk, my Twitter is in the description below. So you guys can hit me up there if you want. Hit me with a follow there. Um, right now, we're going to go to the second play. I think this one's it. And, yeah, it's, like it's firm in the pocket. going to roll out a little bit. And right here, you get to see it. This play really takes me over. Look at this. Like I said, in the pocket, no problem. I had zero issues. Try to show from this angle, too. I see it is sitting here fine. Going to roll out a little bit because you saw right there, though, his uh, linebacker got back up. They got knocked back down. He's coming in there to come sack me. You're going to see right here. I torched the corner. Randy torched him. Here comes Ed Reed now. He's still in his back pedal, right? Look at this. He turns around a little bit and comes. And now he's running up, though. A good pursuit angle for a tackle. Now watch Randy's head. Do me a favor and watch his head. Look, run, run. Now if he stays like that, he catches it. What are you doing? Why are you turning around? I can tell you guys one thing right now. I don't care if this is safety there. Keep your head up. Because if you catch that ball, secure it because you know you're going to get hit. You're going to get hit by the safety. That's why I question. But right here, you need to catch that ball. Like, keep your head up, catch the ball, you get hit by the safety, you get hit by the safety. What are you going to do? You know what I mean? Because that's going to happen. It's football. But instead, he stands there like he's honestly playing basketball, and Ed Reed just jumps up like he's doing a layup for the ball. But anyways, those are two main reasons and many more on the why I might get rid of Randy, like I said before. But nah, I ain't going to ramble on, though, pretty much with that. I'll figure that out later on. I hope everybody, though, has a great and safe day. And I'm out, guys. I will catch you all in the next video.